All right, we continue to react to Dak Prescott getting the franchise tag and not being able to work out a deal, which apparently uh, late in the process, uh, Dak picked up the phone and tried to make it happen via Cowboys insider Jory Epstein. Quote, I'm a cowboy and couldn't be happier, Prescott said. And Jory works for USA Today. I look forward to working alongside Coach McCarthy, the staff, my teammates to be the best team we can be in pursuit of a Super Bowl. Jane Slater from the NFL Network. I'm told Cowboys Dak Prescott was involved in a last minute effort to get a long term deal done, but it was up against 3 p.m. Uh, Central Time deadline. Per a source informed, the deal was between 33 35 million annually with 110 guaranteed. Uh, th- these deals are a game of chicken, only instead of getting hit by a train, you get hit by a money truck carrying $31 million. But I've heard John Middlecoff, who he joins us weekly, and he'll join us uh, tomorrow on the show. Middlecoff said exactly what I was thinking, which is you get the deals done you want to have done. And they didn't get the deal done. So they must not have wanted to have it done. Right? And, and, and that's reasonable. And, and look, for, for Dak, again, if the, if the best worst case scenario is he ends up being the Dallas Cowboys... Um, Dallas Cowboys version of Kirk Cousins. Great. Kirk Cousins has made more money than anybody in the NFL the last four years. But the truth is that this is the Cowboys view Dak exactly as we view Dak. Really good. You you know, it it reminds me, honestly, of the max contract problem that NBA teams have had for a long time. Um, And that's that just because every team can have a max guy doesn't mean you're truly a max guy. It's the flaw in the system, right? The system should allow for a max contract guy to be a max. Like how many max contract guys are there really in the NBA? Really? LeBron? Yes. Steph? Sure. James Harden? Okay. I'll throw Russell Westbrook in there because he's been the league's MVP. I'll throw Kevin Durant, right? Like you throw Giannis in there. He's been the league's MVP. Like outside of the, the top 10 guys or so, the rest of the guys aren't really max contract guys. But if you're the best player on a bad team and you average a crazy number of points, oftentimes in order to keep you, they have to give you the max contract, right? We've seen that happen. Or now the super max contract. This is what's happened with, with John Wall. Like, is John Wall a tremendous player? Yes. Is John Wall a max contract guy? No. No. Now, obviously, his injuries, we don't know where he is or what he would be doing if he, was, if he hadn't gotten hurt. But the fact is that if you're really that good, the Wizards should have been much better. I think Brad Beal is that good, but I, I don't know that. I don't think he's a top 10 player in the league. I, or I don't know. You know, Devin Booker, much the same. These are great, great players, but are they among the elite? This, we do this with the Hall of Fame. Like the Hall of Fame is supposed to be the greatest players ever. There shouldn't be disputes in Hall of Fames. There shouldn't be guys who come up for Hall of Fame voting and it takes them six, seven, eight times to get in. Either you're a Hall of Famer or you're not. If you don't get into the big Hall of Fame, it's, you should have your ring of honor for your team or your, you can have your jersey retired. That doesn't mean a Hall of Famer make you. You can be both, but you can also be either. And we do that with, with contracts for quarterbacks. You know, we do a co- look at what Jimmy Garoppolo makes. He makes mid-20s. That's really what Dak Prescott should be making at most. Right? He's a, in that Jimmy Garoppolo category. And, and you can tell me, well, Carson Wentz. Look, Carson Wentz was going to win the MVP before he got hurt. Carson Wentz in a winner-take-all game beat the Dallas Cowboys with some scrubs at wide receiver. You can tell me what you want about Jared Goff. And I don't love the Jared Goff contract, but I will say that Jared Goff did play huge on the road against the Saints. like lost in the pass interference controversy was that Jared Goff got the ball back, marched down the field, scored touchdowns when, you know, and, and led the Rams. They went to a Super Bowl. Dak Prescott's been surrounded by great players. He's been a good quarterback, but he hasn't won those big games. He was never in line to be the MVP. He's never been to a Super Bowl. He's never been to an NFC Championship game. Why? Because they haven't gotten there. 
So I look at the, the tweet from Dak's brother yesterday. The fact that Dak clearly reached out and wanted to get this thing done, only it was too late. The old narrative deadlines bring deals. And then Middlecoff on his uh, Twitter page, it's like, look, you get the deals done. You want to get them done. There's a reason the Cowboys didn't get it done. It's because they view Dak the way we view Dak. He's good. And it's hard to find another guy. They made him a very respectable offer. You know, we'll give you a bunch of money. At, at some point, the deal is, look, it's th- this is our limit. This is the most we're going to spend. This is the fewest years we're going to get. We're going to have. This is the most we, we are willing to do. I, and and I understand that there's that we have this whole thing. And uh, I have a, a very dear friend who says there's no such thing as last and final. But that's not true. Everybody has a budget. There is a last and final. And you do have the ability to walk away. And if his walking away from that particular negotiation is 31 million with a chance to negotiate for the long term at the end of this year, or maybe get another franchise tag or become a free agent where you're going to get a bunch of money guaranteed. So be it. So be it. The negotiations don't work. Hey, you write down on a piece of paper, how much you want. And that's what we're going to do. So I, I think that Dak on some level thought Jerry would be Jerry. Jerry would relent at, at the at the last hour because that's what he does but in this particular case he wasn't actually a free agent in this particular case they had offered him way more money than they've offered any other quarterback and in this particular case had they viewed him as the super elite they would have said hey take whatever goff's making take whatever wentz is making let's put a a one at, at the end of their number let's pay you more than those two guys but they don't view him that way we don't view him that way he's not that way And now you have his brother coming out saying he's no longer a Cowboy. You know, your brother still does play for the Cowboys. So I, I, I think Dak's really good. I think he's a really good story. He's going to be well compensated and he'll get another contract with the Cowboys outside the country, Cowboys in the next couple of years. But um, I, the Cowboys told you all you need to know about Dak Prescott. We like him. We like him a lot. Do we love him? No. We're not giving him anything that he needs, anything that he wants. We're not, we're not, we're, we just can't do that. That's not how our team is built. He would be our leader. He will make more money than anybody else, but he won't make such, such substantially more money that you have to, anyone who knows the real world of the NFL, if you're going to pay a guy absolute top dollar, something else is going to be missing. And the Cowboys weren't willing to do that. That tells you all you need to know. D- Dax had everything. And, and, and how they do last year, how they do last year. I mean, th- that's, we built up that Philadelphia game. We told you how important it was and they, he was not good. And you can tell me that he was banged up. So was Carson Wentz and he's playing with scrub wide receivers and they weren't good enough. So if the consolation prize is 31 million guaranteed and a chance to do it again next year, that's not, much, that's not a terrible consolation prize, but it is the Cowboys telling you to take the cancellation prize. Sometimes in negotiations, things don't meet up. 